What's going on? Welcome back to the channel for another video. So I may have found one of the coolest video lights that I've ever used. But before we get into it, give the video a like to help the channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's roll that intro and get into it. So I mentioned in a recent video that I contacted a few different brands and I got some messages back and got some really good feedback as well as some brands willing to give me the chance to review some of their products. I contacted the brand iFootage because I was interested in a monopod that they make that has feet that I thought would come in super handy for motorsports. So I gave it a shot and I sent an email. Now, I figured I was reaching way too high since I had already seen this brand reviewed on Petapixel, Gerald Undone and a few others. And to my utter shock, they got back to me. They stated they liked where my channel was going and gave me a shot. So after a few emails back and forth, they sent me this light. This light that I didn't even know that I needed until now. So this is the iFootage Anglerfish SL160DN. Now, before I get too far into it, iFootage has not told me what to say about this light, nor have I received any money to sway my opinion in any given direction. All the thoughts on this product are my own, and my opinions are based solely on using this light and the accessories for close to about two weeks. So let's dive into this carrying case and see what all comes with this. Now, first, I want to note these two straps right here on top of the case. Now, I assume these are for, let me grab this here. This is for some sort of a light stand that you can strap in, making it a lot easier to transport. So let's just give that a shot real quick. Make sure it fits. Yeah, that's gotta be what it's for. So I thought that was pretty cool right off the bat. All right, so let's open this guy up. Sit this over here. And see what we got inside. So right off the bat, we have the power cable sitting right here on top. So let's go ahead and remove this and see what's underneath. So looking inside, you can see that everything has its place. It's all protected by this thick foam to keep everything from flying around while it's sitting inside the case. So we have the reflector, the mouse at the front, power brick, or as some people call it, the adapter cable. Up here, we have what looks like, uh, it's a little light stand adapter screw. And the last and most importantly, the light itself. Looks pretty small. Also in a separate package, they sent me this 50 centimeter lantern style light modifier and this mini Bowens to Bowens adapter. So, now let's move the case and check everything out. So I'm pretty sure you know how a light modifier works and what it does. So there's really nothing that I can say that you don't already know, you know, and the same with the power brick and the cable, except for this one small thing on this. So I footage mounted this metal wire loop right here. So you can actually hang the cable and keep it from swaying around and keep the tension off of the power cable while you have it plugged in. Now, I saw a few other reviews on this light prior to receiving it. And of those reviews, I'd say the results were about 60 to 40 people complaining that the metal loop should have been mounted to the brick instead of on the cord. Now, the thing is, this may be true, but the fact that iFootage actually thought about doing this is just awesome. So honestly, I don't think it really matters whether it's on the brick or on the cord. I don't see many other brands doing anything ease the tension on the cord and keep it from dangling. I think this is an awesome little extra. Okay, so now let's take a look at the light itself. So as you can see, this light isn't much bigger than a 12 ounce soda can. It weighs about 760 grams, which is really nothing when it comes to a video light. It puts out 70 watts of light and has a CRI rating of 98. 
It's made of some pretty durable aluminum alloy, stainless steel, and some polycarbonate. And you can control the light either by using the controls on the light itself or by the iFootage Lumen app. Plus, when it comes to powering it, you can either use the power cable and plug it directly into a wall socket, or you can use this USB-C input and power it with a 100 watt power bank with power delivery. And if you prefer V-mount, iFootage also makes a V-mount pistol grip, allowing you to handhold it, making it even more portable, kind of running around like this with it. It also comes with this mini Bowens to Bowens adapter. Slide is so small that a Bowens mount modifier just doesn't work. So in order to use any sort of modifier, you need the adapter. And iFootage includes that in the bundle, which is pretty awesome. So the Anglerfish 60DN also has an impressive list of light effects built right into the unit, like strobe, lightning, paparazzi, explosion, fireworks, and a few more. Now these effects can come in handy if you're a filmmaker and you need to manipulate the light for things such as the stormy lightning effect. To adjust the intensity of the light, you can simply just turn the knob or you can click the knob and increase it in increments of 20%. But if you're anything like me, most of these specs mean very little. The important thing is, does it put off enough light for what I need it for? And what is the quality of light? Well, let's find out. I'll set it up on my computer and shoot the rest of this video using the iFootage Anglerfish SL160DN. Okay, so here I am all set up using the iFootage 60DN. As you can see, it looks great. Now, is there a noticeable difference between this light and the light that I normally use? Well, yes and no. So although it looks pretty much the same, you might notice that this color has a little bit less of a blue tinge to it. That's because the anglerfish replicates the light spectrum of the sun, lowering the blue light levels, providing a quality of light that simulates natural light. It's also safer because of the reduced levels of the blue light within the spectrum. It creates a safer environment for anyone that works under these lights for extended periods of time. Not to mention, it reduces the need for extensive color correction in post, which saves a ton of time. But honestly, for me, the best thing about this light is just how tiny it is, as well as the quality of the light and the amount of light that it actually puts out. You know, now that I think about it, this is the kind of light that Marcus Picks would love. Well, that is if he hasn't already used it. He's way into tiny photo and video gear. So, well, now for the important questions. How much is it and who is this light for? So it's currently on sale for $179 on the iFootage website. It's normally $189, which honestly is still pretty reasonable considering you get the case, the adapter, the light, uh, the reflector. Not sure if the lantern comes with it normally or if that was just an extra that they sent to me. So who is this for then? Everybody. Plain and simple. I mean, I plan on using this light as my main light from here on out and keeping my newer SL60 as a backup or a secondary light. I just, I don't know, I just like the eye footage more and not just for doing YouTube videos, but I also go out and I shoot short films and full length movies and this light's perfect for that because it's so easy to transport and set up. I'll put a direct link to this light as well as a link to the eye footage website in the description below. They have a pretty wide variety of products for photo and video, so check that out. Uh, I personally, I hope to collaborate with them much more in the future because they were fun to deal with, the product was great, and I received everything faster than I could have ever expected. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and I'll leave this one here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video or you found any sort of useful information, please smash that like button, subscribe, and click that bell so you never miss out on any of the goods. Also, check out my website, jeff-gresham.com, for photo prints as well as my upcoming Lightroom presets, which hopefully, We'll be out sometime this summer and so that's going to do it for me so until next time stay creative and get out and shoot and i will see you in the next video later <laughs>